Good morning. Let's take this moment to welcome each other in this celebration. And as we welcome each other to our loving Father, we lift up one another in prayer, remembering to constantly pray for the peace that we long for, the end of violence of all kind against humanity, especially the unborn, remembering the poor families that struggle and victims of tragedies and calamities. Our entrance song is 704, Gather Your People. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Draw us forth to the table of life. Brothers and sisters, each of us called to walk in your light. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Gathered to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask for God's mercy and compassion as we pray. <clears throat> you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. You bring light to those in darkness. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may experience at all times the fruit produced by the Paschal observances. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for, for Samothrace, and the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in that district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city on the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with the women who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Thyatira, a worshiper 
of God listened and the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Please respond. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. The Lord takes delight in all his people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. <coughs> and you and you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father nor me. I have told you this so that when the, their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord indeed is very clear that discipleship, following in his way, is about keeping his commandments. And the commandments that our Lord Jesus kept were the commandments that the will of God, his Father, has sent him to accomplish, which is to love God above all and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And yes, even if that neighbor can be perceived as an enemy, by societal society standard. But Jesus has always shown us that love is an action, an action that comes from a choice or a decision to follow the example of our Lord Jesus Christ, to, live it, to love even those that are unlovable. And we know from the first reading that when 
inspired love, especially if it is inspired by the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, that leads us to the truth of our relationship with God and the truth of what God wants us to manifest to others, then it is reciprocated. Maybe not immediately, like in the first reading, but it is reciprocated by an action on the part of those who receive this love because the Spirit works within us and through us and for us. Like one song says, love will always find its way. As we continue our celebration, may this be something that we always ask from God, that our little ways, the ordinary ways by which we manifest our love and our obedience to the commandments of our Lord Jesus may bear fruit in lives of people being touched by the Spirit. On his departure, the Lord Jesus sends us the Holy Spirit as our advocate and guide. Let us pray to God for this gift of the Father and the Son. Our response, Father, send us the Spirit of truth. Father, send us the Spirit of truth. That church leaders may be given the gift of wisdom and knowledge to teach the truths of the Catholic faith so that we may gain a certitude about what we believe. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us the spirit of truth. That political and civic leaders may be given the gift of the fear of the Lord, that they may desire not to offend God and to at and attend to their duties with integrity and responsibility. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us the spirit of truth. That the Holy Spirit may stand by our side and banish our fears when we are falsely accused of wrongdoing. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us the spirit of truth. That the Holy Spirit may come like a fresh breath to the weary and the withered of souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us the spirit of truth. That the Holy Spirit may help us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray for but the Holy Spirit intercedes for us with groaning too deep for words. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, send us the spirit of truth. We lift up to the Lord in the silence of our hearts, the prayers and intentions we have for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered, the eternal repose of the souls of Tani Saraisa, Ilda Sanchez, and baby Angela Pena, we pray to the Lord. Father, send us the spirit of truth. For the intentions we have received in thanksgiving for Georgino Naval and Evelyn Maglalang, we pray to the Lord. Father, send us the spirit of truth. For those in need of comfort, strength, and healing, Rosendo Realo, Lorenzo Moran, Henry Bunyag, Brian Santos, Rowena Namuto, Don Blankenship, Tetsuo Okada, Anthony Nguyen, Virginia Harn, Lista Casillas, and Colonel Ro Rogelio Inson Sr., we pray to the Lord. Father, send us the spirit of truth. And for our dearly departed, Domingo Carrillo, Deacon, Dan, uh, Deacon Ray Duthoy, Malaya Manoto, Lourdes Choa, Iva Ganli, Arthur Segovia, and Gerardo Oralio, we pray to the Lord. Father, send us the spirit of truth. Loving Father, as promised by your Son, may the Holy Spirit reveal to us more abundantly the mysteries of your kingdom that he revealed when he walked on earth. This we ask through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abavot, Plenisung Celi et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, O Sahana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, 
When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Thomas, his brother, bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. For those unable to receive our Lord Jesus sacramentally, take a moment for the spiritual communion prayer. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. To our loving Mother, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to Saint Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you Mary place her trust, with you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us to the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our sessional song is 752. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a blessed day, everyone.